hey the flexbox training now we are moving towards the flexbox area where it's far more little bit complex and far more easier to work on with now before i move further uh, let me walk you through that flexbox is not to have precise pixel point of the things it's more about ratios and it's more about aligning the things that however they you want to how, uh, ordering the things however you want to it if you want to pixel precise things uh, probably flexbox is not the thing yes it can be achievable with that but if you're looking for a pixel uh, ish thing like it should be always 130 pixel then uh, go ahead and mention that clearly don't rely on the flexbox for doing exactly so and you will notice that here uh, in this particular video where we are going to work more over the ratios of the things and some things will get a little bit more priority some things get less priority and all of that so uh, let's talk about that and that is basically your property flex grow and you will love it for sure so let's bring up our thing and let's just copy and paste that and we're going to call this as 06 because we are into the 06 let me fire up my atom and there we go let's open up a project folder and we're going to call this as 06 and there we go so we have our index we have our flex okay basically good and what i want to do here is i want to add a couple of things so i'm going to add four of these guys so let's have them one and i don't know why it always pops up there uh, four okay come on let me escape there three and this is going to be two okay so no big deal we just have four elements here or four divisions in our case and uh, let's fire up our live server as well so there we go and you have seen this live server let me bring this up into recording area and there we go so this is visible now and uh, nothing big nothing extraordinary and now the property that we are gonna learn is actually flex grow so let me make up the flex container here first of all and that is going to be container and we just want a one property here display is going to be flex and we see the impact uh, there we go our row is the default line there and it just shrinks up there okay now before i go ahead and do that i want to to specify or to understand this property we need this container uh, knowledge quite a bit so we are going to put a border here and specific width on the container uh, so that it's a little bit more understandable so width is going to be specifically thousand pixels here uh, just to make sure that this is smaller doesn't make a difference and i'm going to put a border as well otherwise it's a little bit hard to understand what is happening so it's going to be simply one pixel and a solid and black so there we go okay so now we can see that uh there are points and there are points and times where you want everything to go just like uh, to the end sometime but for the understanding purpose it's actually easier uh, to just get it a little bit like that and in fact i will not be worried if i'll just make it two pixel it's much more visible now okay so now what the flexbox uh, property does this flex grow is let me show you it's actually easier to show rather than explain it so we're going to have a container and i'm going to select all the divisions inside the container now the default property is uh, flex grow is zero and you will notice it doesn't make any difference because it's a default one and there we go now what is going to happen now i'm saying that all the divisions inside the flex container uh, should get a flex grow of one now what is this one here now one here we are talking about the ratios here not the pixel perfect thing it's all about ratios so what it's saying is now the entire uh, thousand pixels whatever the width of your parent container is is going to be divided in such a manner that it always going to be inside this so notice the two pixel border is also going to count here and it says hey divide everything equally and i'll get one of that ratio so thousand is going to be divided into the four equal part again border is also going to be counted and everybody will be just will be growing uh, to the one part of it that means equal parts here so there we go and uh, we get it really right here that everybody is getting equal space and that is sometimes you want it and that is okay so that is good even actually in most of the cases so imagine uh, you have just got uh, more properties more divisions and you just add this guy here and you just say hey i need one more element and i'm gonna get five there save that and uh, you don't have to touch your css everything is going to just grow like that because it's all about ratios it's not about the pixel perfect thing but it's about ratios everything is getting some ratio divided 
Now the things get a little bit confusing because right now you say, when I say just ratio, you, you must be saying, hey, that's okay, I got it, I understood that. But things get a little bit complicated when uh, the, the more ratios comes up in the picture. So for example, when I say I want to select a particular division and uh, let my atom help me for that. And that is going to be, uh, let's go for the nth selector there. And I want to select the second element there. Okay, there we go. Now what happens when you say a flex grow of, uh, everybody is getting one, but I'm gonna say that, hey, the second child should get a flex grow of two. Now what is going to happen that however the division is going to be there, it's gonna go exactly like that. But previously everybody was getting one part of it, but this guy is gonna get two part of it. Okay, so there we go. This guy is twice as bigger as this. But again, uh, your margin, your properties, your borders, uh, padding, everything does also count up. Uh, but you must be getting equal idea that, hey, if you just try to imagine placing this here, this is almost twice of that. A lot of people does a mistake that saying that, hey, previously it was getting one uh, and two, it's asking for more, so it should be getting three. No, it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. It's more about the ratio thing that you have studied in your early school days. It just works like that. Okay. And the important part is uh, the higher the flex grow property value is, the higher priority it's going to get. So first of all, uh, everybody is going to get a count. Then this guy will be first get. It doesn't make a much difference here, but yeah, this is, this is how the flex box works. And uh, there we go. And you will notice a couple of interesting things uh, when you get some properties width here. So we're gonna say all the guys are gonna have a 100 pixel width here. Uh, in that particular case, uh, in this particular case, it doesn't really matter because things are anyways gonna stay like that. But interesting part is, I have mentioned this should get a 100 pixel, but uh, you'll notice if I inspect the element here and notice in the computed, that this guy is getting 124 here and it's it's bit a little bit more like that. If I just hover my mouse and just like that, you notice that it this guy is getting 166 and not 100. This guy is getting uh, almost double to 166. So yeah, this, this actually works like this. It's more over not dependent on what the width you are aligning because if you're using Flexbox anyways, you are not worried about uh, specific 100 pixels there. You are more worried about how much uh, ratios each one of them are getting. So this is uh, this is the basic uh, thing here. Now I want to show you a couple of more things here uh, with the flex grow because this is an interesting subject. Okay, so I'm gonna say that all the containers are gonna have a flex box of zero, which is default. And I'm gonna say you're gonna get a three times here. So notice the difference here uh, that, okay, let me close this guy that what is happening now this guy is getting a topmost priority here and uh, rest of the guys if it is said as flex zero that means the flex box is not worried about getting them any ratio it's gonna just say that you need to be fixed in the container you need to get some spaces but first this guy will get all the space as much as it needs and you guys will just fit in there so yeah, uh, you can also right click and inspect this guy. So because uh, out of the thousand, uh, thousand pixels here, this guy is getting 641, which is pretty big. And calculating specific can be done, but I would say stay away from it because it's too much of the math and you probably are using Flexbox because you don't have to be worried about it. But in case you want to, uh, uh, you want me to talk about uh, all the specific calculation part of that? Sure, I can do that. Just notice, notify me in the comment section and I'll probably do a specific video on calculation of math and ratio because it, it becomes complicated and especially when it becomes zero or one like that. So yeah, a little bit tricky part. You can get it to something like crazy numbers like seven. Maybe for some reason you want to do that. Uh, so now this is going to get the seventh part of that and rest of the guys are going to get one part of the remaining thing. Okay, so again, do remember this is flex grow and it is super helpful on the small scale devices because even if you'll just keep it on the small scale, uh, obviously we have fixed uh, height here, fixed width there for this guy. Uh, that's why it's not shrinking up. But this is this is helpful. If I just get rid of that, let me command X that, save that. And notice it's it's gonna just stay there. And notice the ratio is being maintained there. If you if you just apply this property towards the whole of the thing, 
then it becomes a really, really easy and amazing things because no matter where your screen size it is, it's always gonna ma uh, make sure that the ratio is intact there. And uh, again, uh, this is all. This is what all the flex box is. And I hope you have enjoyed this video because uh, this flex box grow shrink all these properties are the most uh, awesome properties inside the flex box. So that's it for this video, and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.